Hello, band geeks! So, today we're gonna talk about the worst thing that can happen to you as a musician. You might think the worst thing that can happen to me as a musician is that I mess up my entire concert and make the whole audience leave, or that I crack my instrument or damage it in some way. But actually, far worse and far sinister than all of those is that your instrument gets stolen. So we're going to talk about first how to prevent your instrument from getting stolen and steps that you can take if the unthinkable becomes reality. I'm going to start this off with a little story about a student of mine. We'll call him Richard. I want you to keep in mind during the story to be like Richard, but also don't be like Richard, and you'll see why. Richard left his instrument in the trunk of his car and left it unattended for a little while. And when he came back, he noticed that somebody had broken into his car and stolen all of the stuff out of the back of his car. And that included his clarinet. So Richard was smart. He took his serial number to all of the music stores and pawn shops. He made a police report. He did everything he was supposed to do in the event that your instrument gets stolen. Interestingly enough, the thief went to a music store to try to sell the clarinet back to the music store. And since Richard had given all of the music stores his serial number, the, the owner of the store saw the serial number and was like, all right, yeah, um, I'm gonna go in the back and cut you a check. So while the owner was in the back, he called up the cops and the cops came and the clarinet was thankfully retrieved. However, the cops needed to keep the clarinet as evidence, so he didn't get his clarinet back until maybe a year and a half later. So in order to avoid your instrument getting stolen, here are some things you can do to protect yourself. So as we learned from Richard, write down your serial numbers. As soon as you get your instrument, you should write it down. Don't keep the serial number in the case. Keep it on your phone, keep it in your desk, keep it somewhere where it won't also be stolen. On a lot of clarinets, the serial number is located near the bridge on the bottom of the top joint, um, sort of above where the thumb rest is, like on the back side, and a lot of times the barrel will have the serial number too. You want to take pictures of your instrument. You want to document anything that makes it original. Maybe there's a little scratch near the thumb rest where you dropped it that one time, or maybe you maybe the barrel is a little bit different, maybe you use a Menig barrel instead of the barrel that came with the instrument. Anything that makes your clarinet uniquely yours, you want to take pictures of, including the serial number. You might want to consider also getting your instrument insured, because that way, at least if it gets stolen, you will be able to make an insurance claim for it and receive some cash to go towards, unfortunately, your next clarinet. You also never Ever, 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 ever want to leave your clarinet in the car. First of all, it's really bad for your clarinet to be in a car if it's really hot out or if it's really cold out because that can damage it. But also, it leaves it in a prime spot to be stolen. A lot of the time, a thief won't even know that it's a clarinet or know the value of the clarinet. They'll just think it looks like a laptop case. It's a case, there's something valuable in it, they're gonna take it. Just never, ever, 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 ever leave it in your car ever. It's the worst thing you could possibly do. The thing which kind of goes without saying is never leave it unattended. If you're in a coffee shop and you put it down and you go order your coffee, like just don't do that. It's small enough, take it with you. Don't give somebody the opportunity to steal something that's valuable. Another thing you can do, which is a little excessive, I, I'm gonna admit it's a little excessive, is to have a decoy instrument. It sounds ridiculous, I know, it sounds ridiculous, but I have an old clarinet from when I was playing clarinet in middle school, and it's a plastic clarinet. It's, it's a piece of crap. 
But if you live in an area that has high crime, or even if there's not high crime, if your place gets broken into, you, you can leave a decoy clarinet sort of out in the open so that they take that instead of your actual clarinet, which you can hide in your closet or in your dirty clothes or under the couch. So let's say the unthinkable happens and your clarinet is gone. It's scary to think about. It really is. It's scary to think about. So, so let's say your clarinet gets stolen. If you were responsible and you have the serial number, get that serial number out because you're gonna need to call every pawn shop and every music store within a 50 mile radius. Maybe not 50 miles, but every music store and pawn shop you can think of because that person is not hanging out of the clarinet. They don't want clarinet lessons. They don't want to learn how to play. They want to get money for it because that's why they stole it in the first place. You also want to call the cops immediately. You need to get the popo over there. You need to fill out a report. You need to give them the pictures of your instrument, the serial number, a description of it, where it was, what time it happened, all the information you can possibly think of. You need to get that to the police immediately. The longer you wait, the less of a chance they have to retrieve it. A lot of music stores with technology will also let you register your instrument so that if somebody comes in with an instrument that they're looking to sell and they take a look at it and they type in the serial number it'll come up as belonging to not them so if you buy your instrument you might want to like ask about if there's a way to register it just in case it's horrible you also want to check Craigslist or eBay to see if anything was posted on or around the date that it was stolen. And you don't want to just type in like clarinet. You want to try a couple different spellings of clarinet. So clarinet is spelled C-L-A-R-I-N-E-T. But a lot of people will think that the end of clarinet is E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. They might not know how to spell clarinet, so you might want to try a couple different spellings. One time, one of my friends, uh, they were on either Craigslist or eBay, and they typed in the wrong spelling of saxophone, and they actually found a wicked nice saxophone that was being sold because the people who found it in their attic didn't know the value of that instrument. So he got a wicked nice saxophone out of it, but you're just trying to get your instrument back. I just want to make sure that everybody is protected and smart about their instruments because you know, you work hard for your money and you want to buy a nice clarinet and even if you get it insured and you get the money to buy a new clarinet, it's not your clarinet. Like, things are always like a little different and you have to get used to it and it's just not the same. So, protect your babies and, and just be smart and again, never, ever, 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 ever leave it in your car.